But they say, they say, don't let the refugees in. You know, it's all that opinion. But you go, why? And they go, because we're full. Have you seen that one? It's even a sticker. Don't let the refugees in. We're full. Fuck, you haven't traveled. <laughs> you know, the first time I, I actually left uh, New South Wales to do a gig, the first time ever, years and years and years ago, was in a place called Kalgoorlie. Anyone been to Kalgoorlie? Yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Are you a minor or what happened? No? They're not going to... No. Well, this is my, you know, my first experience of the outback. Freaked me out. We were in a tiny little 12-seater plane, and we're landing, and, and the captain of the plane comes on. And the ladies and gentlemen are about to descend into Kalgoorlie, and if you look to your left, you'll see... Fuck all! <laughs> there's nothing, and there's so much of it! It goes forever! We're not full, we're empty! We're the emptiest country on the planet! They say, don't let the refugees in! And he said, why? And he goes, because some of them might be terrorists. And fuck, I don't know. Maybe that is the case. Maybe. I have no idea. Right? Maybe, maybe some of them are terrorists. But you've got to say, if that's the case, if some of those refugees are terrorists, fuck, they're just running out of ideas. <laughs> you can imagine the next ISIS meeting so after one too many shishas. <laughs> because, all right, we'll finish the meeting, but uh, now we're looking for like, uh, fresh ideas outside the box just brainstorming. We want to take down Western civilization. Anything, anything. Yes, Muhammad. <laughs> okay, now, this might be the hashish talking. <laughs> but just let me finish, all right? Let me, let me finish, all right? <laughs> this is what I think we should do. What we should do is we, we should pretend we're refugees. We should pretend we're, right? And so tomorrow we get on a boat, but not a good boat, a leaky boat that might drown. <laughs> To make it more authentic. <laughs> and to make it more authentic, we bring our family, our grandmothers, our children. <laughs> Shut up, Mustafa, you've had your go. <laughs> Stop laughing, Abdullah. <laughs> and we get on the boat and we sail to Australia. It might take us six, seven months and we probably will drown. But if we don't drown, I think this is probably the hashish talking, but shut up. If we don't drown, we make it to Australia. They're going to arrest us and put us in the detention centre for maybe five or six years. Okay, just let me finish. <laughs> and at the end of that time, they're going to send most of us back home. But if we are not ones who are sent back home, we chill out for one month or two, then we blow shit up. <laughs> Mm, I like it. 